morning, everyone. I am Father John Quincy Caballo, SDB, or Father Jake, currently assigned at St. Louis School of Don Bosco, Dumaguete City, here in the province of Negros Oriental in the Philippines. Currently, I am assigned as pastoral animator of the school and uh, been tasked to take care of not only the students' spiritual formation, but also that of the pastoral care of our employees and staff. We are grateful to God in spite of the current situation that we are facing, we are now in a, the so-called modified general community quarantine. There are lesser restrictions, yet we are still keeping that uh, safety measures necessary for us to be able to avoid contamination in this time of pandemic. But most especially, we have seen in a very obvious way the power and the impact of the preventive system. If you would want to be healthy and safe in this time, you really have to avoid the possibility of being infected. And so we put on ourselves protective gears, whether it's a face mask or a face shield or even the so-called PPE, we have realized that it is important to avoid a problem before it happens. In the school, we have been surprised and we have been caught uh, unprepared somehow on many accounts. But now, given this opportunity to update ourselves and to upgrade not only our facilities but also what we know, we are more and more able to realize that this moment is also a moment of opportunity, a moment to improve, a moment to become better. In this pandemic, if we want to move forward, we just have to go forward. We just have to go against the negativity, the fear, and sometimes the desperation that overcomes us in this time. We realize so much how our faith has given witness to the world that faith could be a very powerful, a very potent source of strength in the midst of so much desperation. You have seen how our Holy Father has been able to reach out even to non-believers through the different celebrations and messages that he has extended. Also here in our school, we continue our work of evangelization and education by upskilling, by modifying and improving our current programs so as to be able to address the current problems and most especially to deliver in the most effective way the education that we'd like to reach out that we'd like to impart to our students. We even think, we are now even thinking of doing pastoral work online. So think about class masses online. Think about recollections online. Retreats, mm, hoping that by the end of the year things would be better. But we always have to adhere to hope and to allow our faith to draw us further not into the darkness, but into the light. And so, please pray for us in our ministry here, in our mission of educating young people, young boys and young girls, ever since we have been a co-educational institution, since we took over the school in 1986 from our CICM predecessors, the first administrators and the founders of our school. And please pray also for us, that uh, we may have this wellspring also of Salesian vocation, Salesian vocations to the Salesian family, to the Salesian priesthood, to the brotherhood, and even to, to the sisterhood. So please pray for us and with us. There is a great challenge ahead of us. Hopefully we will not only survive, but we will also thrive. With the grace of God and to the intercession of Our Lady Help of Christians and St. John Bosco. May God bless us all and good night.